Okay, so this is a question, George, from the June 2018 ACCN2 paper. Um, and part B of this is dealing with um, a suspense account. So it tells you that on the 31st of March 2018, the totals of the trial balance did not agree, but it doesn't tell you by how much. So we've got nothing to go by. Um, but what we must remember is to include a trial balance difference in our suspense account somewhere. So when we've finished making all the adjustments we need to do, we need to work out what the balance is on the suspense account and then make sure we include the trial balance difference, which will effectively balance off the suspense account. Because remember, we mustn't ever have a balance carried forward on it. So let's just work through these items of information. First one, then it says the balance of the rent received account. Remember, that's an income account had been undercast by £400. OK, so if we think about the rent received account, it's income. We could always draw up a little T account. OK, so rent received is income. That would be on the credit side and it's under car. So we haven't got enough in rent received. So we need to stick £400 in on the credit side of the rent received account to fix that. That means that the debit side of the suspense account has the balancing entry. So we're going to enter in there rent received £400. So we've credited rent received to correct the undercast amount and debited the suspense account. Now, all of these adjustments are going to be made on the 31st of March 2018. That's the year end date. OK, so that's the first one dealt with. Second one, a direct debit payment of 1180 for admin expenses had been correctly entered in the expense account, but had been credited twice in the cash book. So in our cash book, effectively, because it's a direct debit, it's going to be in the bank columns. We've got 1180 in there credited twice. OK, it's on the correct side. It's a payment. So remember, the money out of the bank is on the credit side. We need to get rid of one of those entries. So to fix the bank account, we're going to need to debit bank with 1180. That means we need to credit the suspense account with 1180. OK, so that's the direct debit dealt with there and the date is going to be 31st of March 2018 again. Okay, so that's that one sorted. Um, cash purchases of 1450, this is number three, have been correctly entered in the cash book, but credited to the account of a trade payable Simpsons & Co. Okay, so cash purchases, the double entry should be debit purchases and credit the cash book, so either bank or cash, depending on how it's being paid. Now, at the moment, we have got in the account of, let's draw up the one that's wrong, Simpsons & Co. We have um, an amount 1450 that shouldn't be in there. So it's been correctly entered in the cash book. So it's been credited to the cash book. That's OK. But it's also been credited to Simpsons & Co. OK. Whereas it should have been debited to purchases. That's what we're missing. OK. So what we need to do then is sort out Simpsons & Co., Debit their account with 1450, okay, and credit the suspense account. So the reason we're doing that is because it's a cash purchase. It wasn't from Simpsons and Co. It wasn't on credit. So we need to get rid of it out of their account. Um, we also need to debit purchases. So purchases are missing 1450 on the debit side. Remember, purchases always a debit type of expense. So we're going to need to credit our suspense account with 1450. OK, so that's number three dealt with. OK, number four, then some inventory valued at £500 taken by George Jones for private use have been correctly entered in the drawings account, but debited to the purchases account. OK, so if we have a little look down here. So the accounts affected here are drawings and purchases. OK, so we've got £500 been correctly entered in the drawing account. So remember, when we um, have goods for own use, we have to debit drawings and we have to credit purchases. That's how we deal with goods for own use. Now, what's happened here is that we've debited drawings, been correctly entered into the drawings account. So that's OK. That should be there, that £500. But they've also debited 
purchases. Okay, that is wrong. It should be on the credit side of purchases. Now, remember, if we want to move something from one side to the other, we have to double it up. If we only put £500 in on the credit side of purchases, that will cancel out the error. We need to put £1,000 in on purchases to get rid of the £500 on the debit side and bring £500 into the credit side. So over to the suspense account. Then if we've credited purchases with £1,000, then we need to debit the suspense account. And just like with any other um, T account, leisure account entries, we always describe where the other half of the entry has gone to. So that's all four items there. Now, one word of warning with suspense accounts. In this case, all of these um, bits of information led to an adjustment in the suspense account, but it doesn't always. Sometimes you might see half a dozen um, pieces of additional information there, and only maybe two or three of them need to go into the suspense account. There might be other errors in there, like the uh, error of commission or um, an error of complete omission just needs a journal entry, nothing to the suspense account. Okay, now remember that this suspense account needs to come down to zero. If we look at the two sides here, we can see that this side is a lot heavier than this side. So what we're going to do, remember I said about this trial balance difference, we're going to put in here a balancing adjustment, which is going to be the difference from the trial balance. Okay, so this is about what we call a balancing figure. We didn't know what it was at the start. So remember, balancing figures are where we make for something to, to add up um, by putting in a, a balancing amount. So if we add up, let's get my trusty calculator here, 1180 plus the 1450 plus the other 1450, we've got 4080 on the credit side, but we've only got 1400 on the debit side. So if I take 1400 away, that means that our trial balance difference is 2680. And now the suspense account agrees. Job done.